What's up everybody? Welcome to Italy. What a surprise. We are here. We're out here for the Kai Green Padova Classic. Um, it's going to be an amazing event. I I'm so excited. I cannot tell you. Um, to come compete in another country is, is, is a dream. Um, I've competed in, in Barcelona a few times. Shut up! Hey! Shut your mouth! I'm talking. Competing abroad is always, is always such a magical thing to do. Um, doing what we love abroad against other people from different countries. This is the one for the pro card. I need to win my class and I need to win the overall to get a pro card, to get that coveted IFBB pro card. Um, but look at this place. Look at this place. It's absolutely beautiful. We're on the balcony here, just overlooking a nice rose. The, uh, the squad is here, of course my two biggest fans in the world are here with me. We're gonna have a great time. Uh, the plan today, so plan is Thursday right now. Um, I compete on Saturday. I'm pretty darn flat, so I'm gonna load today on about 600 carb, um, a little bit more fat than last time just to help that fullness. Um, and then we'll go back down to a low day tomorrow and then load on Saturday. So let's get to eating. Yes. The the ultimate carb load food, low volume, baby rice, whey, honey, easy. There's like 120 carb in this. We're just gonna get this down. Wait a couple, wait an hour maybe, and then head to the gym. I'm gonna go find some crazy Padovan gym. We'll go from there. That's the kind of place that you want to eat, really, isn't it? And it's the little corner shop, keeps the window. We are on the way. We're just walking to the gym. Uh, it's about a 10 minute walk or so, so it's not too bad, but it's beautiful here. Check this out. Let's see if they let me in with the camera. So as with as with last week's pump up, the idea is to get all of our isolations in first, just so we get all the joints warm before we do any sort of loading. And then we're only gonna load, again, three to four reps in reserve. Think about reducing inflammation, but still keeping work rate up and keeping that stimulus there so we can keep some fullness. Driving the, the food that we're eating today into where we want it to go. Um, I've had about 250 carb from now, so I could just feel myself getting a bit fuller as we go through the workout. Just some long rows, uh, just some triceps.
So there we have it guys, filling up a little bit. We've got about 300 carb in so far. Um, that'll obviously fill me up for now for that workout. Got to consider I've probably got to walk another four or 5,000 steps, got to get some shopping done. The extra 300 is going to go right where it should. Let me hold my fullness into tomorrow. Um, but then we can dry out tomorrow um, and really start to kind of pull the water. You can see there's water under my skin still. Um, to be expected when you're using exogenous hormones, when, when you just come off a competition and had, you know, five, 6,000 calories on the night. Uh, but we can pull that off tomorrow. I'm ready for game day Saturday. Gym done. Gonna go to find our way around some fucking Italian supermarket. Post-workout meal. Post-workout meal was going to be 100 grams of basmati rice, 170 grams of chicken with 45 protein, a little bit of veg, and I'm going to go have a little bit of bottle of cereal for about 150 carb. I'm starving. None of this is hitting the sides, but we keep going. So guys, much like the Leicester show day, I'm here to chill. We are going to just go walk around for a little bit. Um, my mum and girlfriend are going to get some food. I'm going to sit there and ogle at the food. And then I'm going to come back, take some pictures, and then get the final meal in. And actually, I'm going to see you tomorrow. Bye bye. Queen of the Good morning everybody, how are you? I am great, thank you for asking. It's about half seven, we just went to a coffee shop. I'll show you the coffee shop actually. This was the coffee shop we went to. Two euros for two black coffees. If any of you ever come to Venice in Italy, stay in Padova, it's half the price of everything and it's a 20 minute train journey into Venice. So I highly recommend that you do that. Um, we are just chilling today. Um, the rundown of the plan is I'm going to get about 300 carb in today, 200-ish protein and about 40 fat. So we tapered it down from yesterday where we had 600. Um, I'll show you what I look like this morning. You can see I'm full to the brim. The water has gone. Um, I definitely got a little bit of a film of water left, which we are going to look to, to kind of pull off today through manipulation diet, through manipulation in water and salt. Um, we're going to pull off a little bit more water, fill up a little bit this morning, and then just chill in the evening be ready to load for the morning for the show. Um, kickoff is early tomorrow. It's 9 a.m. start. I'm like the third or fourth category on, so it'll be about 10 or 11 a.m. I'll be on, uh, which will be 9 or 10 UK time. So I'm going to be up like 3 or 4 UK time, getting my food and getting, getting ready, getting mentally prepared. But we're ready, guys. We're in a fucking beautiful place. Got some beautiful people with me. Motivation's high. I'm calm. I'm ready. Failed. My egg whites, ground rice, nut butter, honey. Meal one going in, 25 protein, 100 carb, five fat. So we are headed to registration. Could be a, could be slightly worse ways to walk to registration. Uh, registration is from like 11 a.m. till 8 p.m. And they're gonna allocate where we get tanned when we get there. It's like midday now, so I'm an hour, not late, but I'm an hour after registration started. I wanted to make sure I got my pump in. I wanted to make sure I got my food in. Um, I didn't want to go there and, and wait around for a few hours and not have my food with me. So I made sure I ate just before I came. We've got two, three hours now before I need to eat again so I can chill. Uh, so we're just gonna go in. You can feel the nerves coming in as we get closer. I'll show you inside. Registration complete. Registration is complete. We've got the number, number 25. That's not my number. Amateur, number 25. Make sure you scream through the camera. Um, I don't know if we're allowed through here, but a little peek of the, of the show. This is where it's all going down, people. In for a pre-tan in about 15, 20 minutes. 
trying to cool down, it's warm and I'm sweating. Nervous. So the tan is on, the face is a bit white. We are two meals in, 200 carb in. We've got another 100 carb to go. And then we switch to carbless meals. We're getting like pretty full and feeling pretty good. We just want to hold it. So obviously one more carb meal to keep the fullness or maybe slightly overspill. Probably not because I'm moving so much here and it's so hot. Um, and then carbless meals to just hold, 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 wake up nice and early and then fill back up because inevitably every moment I'm not feeding myself carbs, I'm just depleting it because my body's in overdrive. So I've got to find that balance between tipping up enough. Like right now I'm bang on. I want to be like this on stage right now. A pump, a glaze, I'm going to be bang on right now. So I really just want to make sure that I stay here. So the 100 carb to go in extra plus just staying there, waking up tomorrow. Drop the water, be bang on. going to chill. I've got my little... Uh, my den over here with the set with the tanned towel and i'm gonna try and uh try and not move that much this evening i've got about two or three thousand steps that i'm gonna save if we need to go out later otherwise r and r chill that authentic italian pizza how dare he mess mine up Same meal, different country. So we're going for a very similar, we're going for a very similar carb up to last time. Um, a little bit more food. I'm a little tad fuller, but I'm a little bit tighter, which is great. I was 0.1 lower than last week, um, but being fuller, I know that this would be like even, even leaner. So we're in a good place. We're going to sit, chill, eat. We'll see you in a bit. Gentlemen, 180 and face the rear of the stage. Yes, Josh, come on! Arms! Face the judges. Nice, tight, and lats. So we are off stage. I, uh, I got my class win. <laughs> I mean, there was no one in my class except for me, which is fantastic. Very demoralizing to say the least. Um, but they put me straight through into the overall. Come on, Josh! Go! Gentlemen. Do a 180 and face the rear of the stage. Yes, Josh! Yes, Josh! And face the judges. Nice. Just because I was, I won my class technically. We didn't get the overall. Um, they didn't even move me from where I went on the spot, so. I just wasn't what they were looking for today. The guy who won the overall was just a fucking blocky Italian dude with no, like, he was lean, you know? He could have been, he could, yeah, he could have been on a beach somewhere. Um, so you never know with these competitions, it's very, very difficult to know what they're looking for. I haven't really gone over any of the videos and the comparisons and stuff, so, I mean, 
I'll go over them after, but I'm pretty sure that what I'm missing is just the size, um, which is annoying because it's something that we can't do before the finals, which are in September. Uh, but it is what it is. We just pick up and we go again. It's very, very disappointing as it is to just play your own game. I brought the best me, like I was... I was the leanest um, I've ever been, the fullest, driest. I was pretty much at 100%. If I was at like 85, 90% at the two bros last week, this was 100% today. Um, so I'm happy with what I brought, but it's, it's almost impossible to say, yeah, I'm happy because I brought my best package because if you don't win at the end of the day, which is what we work for, it fucking hurts. And, it, and it's really fucking hard to, to deal with that mentally. We got it. Yeah, boy. Good morning, everybody. How you doing? I'm fine. Thank you for asking. Today is the day after. Um, so a little rundown. I ended up waking up like 1.5 kilos up on show day. I didn't really eat too much yesterday. Went for all you can eat sushi. Caught ate that. I did like 15,000 steps. Trained. Had three meals before I even went for sushi. Had a small bowl of pasta. I woke up feeling pretty good. No bloating, no crazy like, oh my God, I'm so full. I was a little bit full in bed last night, but whatever, enjoyed myself. Woke up, we went to go train legs this morning, got a good pump in, came back like 700 grams up on show day. So I dropped all that water weight. I feel tight, I feel full. I feel really, really good actually. I sent pictures over, in fact, here's my physique from this morning. I sent this over to Callum and he said, is there a classic show you can do today? <laughs> um, and I feel it would be awesome if I could, but there is not one. Um, we are going to chill today. I've got the day off diet. I, we got up early, got the training done. I'm going to get a load of steps in. We're going to head into Venice today, I think. It is raining, so I'm not going to take the camera because let's get this camera, unfortunately, costs the same as about a mortgage. Um, so I'm not going to, I'm not going to take it. I'm not going to take it to Venice in case it gets damaged. Um, yeah, I don't want to risk it. So I'm going to keep everything on my phone. Um, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of Italy because I fucking will. We're on the Rialto Bridge in Venice. It's a thumbnail. <laughs> we uh, we stopped for lunch a little bit earlier along the uh, along the canal. I had a gnocchi ragu with some calamari. It was really nice. Um, I've I pretty much been fasted all day today. I had I had a croissant this morning, and that's pretty much all we've had. And then we just had a little bit of ice cream. I want about 15,000 steps at the moment. We trained fasted legs today, obviously, so I, I feel pretty good. Like, digestion's good. I don't feel too bloated. I don't feel, um, I don't feel rubbish, and that's not the goal because things can very, very quickly slip in an off-season. I could, I could keep eating now. I could go for another meal. I could go for more ice cream, but I won't. I've got to play safe, play smart. Yesterday and today. So guys, I thought I would sit down and round up that weekend for us. Um, it was, probably wasn't a bit clear what happened really. So what happened was, is, is, is um, it was crazy backstage. For some reason, for unknown reason, I was the only person in my class. Um, so they merged me into another class, which was fine. Like, that's cool. They then said, number 25 is being judged separately because I'm in a separate class. So then they didn't move me anywhere because I was being judged separately. So I came in with everybody then they didn't actually compare me to anyone. And then I won my class automatically because there was no one in it. And then, um, which is whatever, like, I, you know, I, I would have preferred to have been just merged into another class because anyway, I'm trying to win the overall. So merge me into the other class. If I don't win that class, I, at least I get information, you know? Anyway, they put me into the overall and then they click, like, obviously, yeah, okay, didn't win the overall because there were people that were better than me. That's fine. They were bigger than me, better, um, bigger than me, which is, which is pretty much what they go for. You know, if you've got, like, a consensus at a show that 80% of the people are pretty big, 20% are small, smaller, they tend to go towards the 80%, whereas if it was, like, 50-50 and one person was more, let's say, aesthetic 
or better shape, better posing, for example, what I would say I could, I could bring over some of the bigger guys, um, then maybe you'd get the, the decision. But I think being in Italy, the guy who won was Italian. It seems I know a lot of the officials, but you know how, just whatever. Excuse, no excuses here. The most annoying thing is, is just there's no data because I didn't get compared. You know, when you're in a bodybuilding show, you get called for a top five or a top three or a, or at least in comparisons and then they'll start moving you around, right? So number 25, if you could swap with whatever, if number two, swap with the, and, and at least you know, like if you've been moved into the middle, you're probably first or next to the person in the middle, you know, you're third. Or if you don't get moved, you know, you, you, it's nothing. But I wasn't being compared to anyone. I wasn't getting anything. So I got no information from the show other than what I could get for myself and what I brought. And I, it was way better, way tighter, way fuller. We peaked way better. So we can take those positives, but it was very, very frustrating to kind of, you know, like I would have rather have lost everything and, and come dead last and got some information that way, you know, like that rather than what what happened. But it is what it is. We just have to take the positives. It's a, it's a hard thing to swallow, obviously, knowing that it's another six weeks to my next chance to get a qualifier. And then again, you know, the odds are, like, they're going to be big dudes again. And, and and that is the reality of this game, is that it is a long one, and, and you've got to pe play the long game. So part of my head was was thinking after Italy, you know what, like, fuck, uh, I might have to just call it quits now and, and go into the off-season and play that long, smarter game, because ultimately, if I want to be the best at this, why should I try now when I'm not going to, maybe you know, when, when, it, when I'm taking it to chance, why not come back when I'm undeniable? You know, so then that was playing in my head. But then part of me is like, it's just six weeks. Give it a go. You already won an overall. You know that you could be, you know, some, some good, good people in, in England. It's going to be a different show. There's a lot more English judges, which might help. Um, they already know me on that circuit. That Those things help. That's the reality of it. And I think, you know, a big part of me just says, just hold on for that. It's also very good for social media. Let's face it, the shredded thumbnails, the th shredded pictures on Instagram, the transformations, th they also help. Um... So, you know, there's there's a lot of things to consider and, and and I think I've got some thinking to do. I'm going to talk to my coach tonight. I've got some thinking to do um, over the whole thing. And, and I think if we'd had a bit more information, this decision would have been easier. But of course, without it, it just is what it is. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for following this journey. It's been a whirlwind two weeks, hasn't it? Last day, last video was a show day vlog. This is a show day vlog. Um, I'll bring back some 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 more informational videos soon with with like how to train and things like that. I've got a I've actually got a leg day day, day film, so that'll be up soon. We're gonna get back into routine. I will I will keep you updated with everything I do. Um, uh, if you have ever got any questions, follow me on Instagram. Shoot me a DM. We'll, 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 we'll talk it out. Peace, everybody. Thank you, guys. I love you. Thank you so much for the support. Thank you, guys. Don't forget to like because it helps the channel. Peace.